Have you ever thought, fasting is way too hard? I have to go to work, how can I fast? What is the objective of fasting anyways? Hear these verses. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أياما معدودات فمن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فدية طعام مسكين فَمَنْ تَطَوَّعَ خَيْرًا فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَهُ وَأَنْ تَصُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنْزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنُ هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرِ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ صدق الله العظيم. I know fasting is good for me, but I love food. Why can't I eat? What is the objective of fasting? The objective is mindfulness of Allah, fear, love, and awareness of our Lord. Allah addresses us directly, O oh, believers. He then gives us a prescription. Fasting is prescribed for you as it was for those before you. Fasting may have physical benefits, but the real objective is treating the soul. So perhaps you will become mindful of Allah. Also, Allah intends ease for you, not hardship. Our faith is a religion of mercy there are exceptions or alternatives for those with genuine challenges when it comes to fasting. Think about standards. What comes to mind? How do we define standards? Is it a level of quality or attainment? A standard of living? A standard of dressing? A standard of eating? Allah revealed the Qur'an to help us set the right standards. The standard by which we distinguish between right and wrong. A standard for character development. A standard for human relations. A standard of living. A standard of dressing. A standard of eating. And a standard of fasting. Who thinks gratitude is easy? It's easy on the soul and difficult for the ego. It depends on which one we intend to follow. In reality, it is only possible through Allah's help. Allah tells us, after we fast and take the Qur'an as our guide, 
and use the Qur'an as a gauge for setting our standards, then maybe we will be grateful so that you may complete the prescribed period and proclaim the greatness of Allah for guiding you and perhaps you will be grateful. I feel far from God. You may wonder, how do I get close to Him? Allah says, when my servants ask you, O Prophet, about me, I am truly near. I respond to one's prayer when they call upon me. So let them respond with obedience to me and believe in me. Perhaps they will be guided to the right way. Lastly, Allah tells us in a hadith Qudsi, all the actions of the children of Adam are for them, except for fasting. It is for me and I alone will reward for it. May we seek closeness to our Lord. May Allah allow us to be of the people of gratitude and guidance. May Allah allow us to understand the objective and essence of fasting. May Allah allow us to take the Qur'an as our standard.